thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Soreo. Today we are at the Artist Studio and we're going to introduce to you some great local artists who are going to be opening up their homes to the community on September 8th and 9th for a very special art studio tour. So let's go inside, meet some of the artists and check out their work. Well, I was a lawyer and a crisis manager okay. until I retired at age 65 and I decided to take up painting as my last career. And the, my muses were the California Impressionists. So you can see from the paintings that are here in the gallery that uh, I was heavily influenced by the Impressionistic style of painting. And I paint in oils in my barn, which is below my house. And I exhibit my paintings in my corral. Now, I know, one time I know you had horses in the barn. So when did that sort of change over for you and you turned it into an art studio? Well, my girls grew up. Yeah. And when they grew up and went off to college, we uh, sold the horses, and uh, so now I've taken over half the barn for my art studio. Okay, and what inspires you to paint? There's just beauty everywhere, but the peninsula here is special, and I have a very special location at my house. I can see the sunset every night. I can see the, the, the islands and the, and the ocean, so I don't have any excuses. I can just paint from right where I, where I have my home. Well, and you're going to be opening up your home and sharing your beauty with a lot of residents here. Let's talk about the studio tour in September. Um, I know it's a, it's a huge event, and you'll have many people participating. That's right. This will be our ninth annual studio tour. Right. It'll be on September 8th and 9th okay. from, 10, from 10 in the morning till 5 in the evening. We have 10 different studios. We had 550 tickets sold last year, so we had lots and lots of people over, over the years, and we hope that everybody will buy a ticket and come this year. Uh, we have 10 different studios plus the two galleries. Okay. This will include all sorts of paintings. It will include oil, uh, acrylic, watercolor, and pen and ink, ceramicists, hot glass, and neon. Uh, the uh, uh, we have a sculptor who does bronze and terracotta. We have um, pottery and we have jewelry. We have a silver maker and also a, uh, a, a, a other types of jewelry, a hot glass and jewelry, if, a jewelry. So we have lots and lots of very interesting different types of studios. And each of the artists will be there describing their art, their tricks and how they do it okay. and showing the different types of things they've done. And they will be for sale. But also, there will be other artists at that same venue. For example, at my venue, Jan Napolitan, who's a terrific ceramicist, will be there. Okay. And also, Vicki Williams, who will be doing the, the, uh, taking the, the orders, will also have some of her jewelry there. So at each venue, not only will the studio be open of the artist that does her work there or his work there, but also will have other artists there. So it's a terrific opportunity for people who love art or are interested in how art is made. Oh, I've been painting since about 12 years old. Okay. Yeah, I started uh, in, in Chicago. I'm from Chicago. I went to the Art Institute in Chicago. And through the years, I've taken workshops and, and uh, of course, in college and uh, just never stopped, you know, a, a few pauses for ch children and things like that. But I've always painted. I've done um, oils and acrylics and some sculpting and things like that. But watercolors is my favorite. Is there anything in particular you like to paint or just a variety of things? Um, well, I paint with the client in mind. And it's like when you see something, you want to nudge somebody and say, oh, look at that, you know? So I paint what draws me to it. Okay. And I want to bring it home and share with someone. So when I go on vacations, um, and I take lots of pictures, and um, I do a lot of scenery that has little avenues that go, and um, uh, the florals are one of my favorites, yeah. but I take the up close and personal view of them. And what is that like for the artist to have people come in, look at your work, and chat with them? What is that experience like? Well, it's wonderful for the artist because it's one of the few ways that you interact with the person that's buying your art. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the only way you get feedback when you put your art in a gallery. Um, you're not there when they're looking at it, and it's a wonderful way to um, really get their feelings. I do a lot of outdoor shows, and um, it's wonderful whether they buy or not. You can really get their reactions as they're looking at it. and it's very nice for them because it's the only way that they meet the person that really does the art. 
that they hang in their home, and I think they really appreciate it. They have another kind of connection with what they see in their home every day. Well, let's talk about the gift baskets that will be available uh, as well on the tour. Okay, these are wonderful. Each is worth $1,000, uh, and in them are wonderful wines and wine glasses. Uh, they're contributions from um, wonderful restaurant gift certificates, and our great artists all contribute. We have ceramics and lots of jewelry and um, stoneware and uh, clothing, scarves, um, and each is worth really a thousand dollars. We get everything from all the artists and people are so excited to get it. I mean, for the same ticket, you know, to have the chance of winning a thousand dollar gift certificate gift baskets and there's two of them. That's amazing. Yes. Linda, what's it like for you to walk into a gallery and see your work on the wall? Um, it's kind of surreal, mm -hmm. you know. It's, uh, it's, it's a really good feeling. There's nothing better than knowing that someone else gets pleasure from something you do. You know, I've gotten calls from people that say, oh, you know, it makes me feel so good. You know, when I walk by your painting, it really makes me feel good. There's nothing else in the world that can make you feel like that. You know, it's, you can't get a high like that from anything else. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Nancy, we're in the second gallery here um, at the artist studio. And this gallery is amazing in itself because you've got a lot of wearable pieces that I think people forget about. And they're one of a kind. Absolutely. They are one of a kind. And there's quite a bit of variety in our wearables. And our wearable artists, as a matter of fact, are pretty representative of the fact that our gallery includes artists not only from LA County but from Orange County. Quite a few of our wearable artists live in Orange County as a matter of fact. Now, how do you decide which pieces will actually get to be here? Well first of all we jury all of our artists okay. and every month we change the displays right. and once the artists are juried then they can bring whatever they want into the gallery. Uh, something else that I think might be of interest to people is the fact that the wearable people and also the jewelry people will do custom work for you. So if you want it perhaps, like I'm a jeweler, if you want it a longer necklace uh, than what you see in our gallery, or if you want a different color in a piece of work, perhaps the artist can accommodate you. We have over 60 artists that are involved in both of these galleries. Some, some of the artists are in one gallery, some are in the other, and some work in both galleries and because we are a co-op gallery mm -hmm. uh, you're supposed to not only sit but also be on a committee so we all have jobs we don't just sell unfortunately <laughs> we have to work a little since we're a co-op of course now you make wearable art you make jewelry I'm a jeweler. I, um, I've been a jeweler for over 20 years I worked in other media before okay. uh, actually when we first moved to Palos Verdes we bought a brand new house and we couldn't afford to buy any artwork, so I took my first class at the Art Center. And I learned I wanted to do stitchery, and my teacher was a weaver, so I wound up learning how to weave. And then I went on to basketry and three-dimensional macrame, and I settled on jewelry. And I settled on jewelry because I'm one of these dumb people that's always breaking necklaces. <laughs> and I broke one, leaning over my dishwasher one day, and I thought, this is it, I have to learn how to restring. Uh, I was in Hawaii, and I talked to Jewel and teaching me, and then one day I thought, I really enjoy not only repairing, but making, so I made four pieces. A friend of mine had a show, and I sold two of my four pieces, and I thought, I'm launched. I'm not going to be a jeweler, and that's how I started about 20 years ago. I've been making jewelry. Interesting. Then do you have a specific style that you like to do, or? I... I've been working more and more with pearls, but I work with pearls, semi-precious stones, gold jewelry. I try to make my pieces pretty, but sometimes I do things that are a little more interesting, okay. just a little off the path, like what I'm wearing right now. It's a piece that. of coral that I bought in Hawaii, and this is a mother of pearl, which is a seashell. So I do ethnic things. I do contemporary things. I do kind of pretty things, you know, with the pearls and the fancier things. And